Hello everyone and welcome back to Ocarina of Time Randomizer. In the last time we decided to actually take on Jabu Jabu even though we do not have the Kukiri sword but we have all the other essentials to actually beat the boss. I think his name is Baronard? I'm not very good at remembering all the all the names of the... but of course there is Octo guys in here. Oh, what's it called? O Oxo... Octorox? Come on. No. Nope. Nope. Ah, uh, one done. I have been pointed out that I hadn't kept my tracker up to date and I apparently clicked some things that weren't supposed to be clicked um, on the new tracker that I'm using. And to answer that is I'm trying to figure out what all the items are on the tracker because some of them were not what I thought they were. Except why the Garuda Ladder, I didn't know was the Garuda Ladder. I was like, what are you? Oh, you're the Garuda. Ah, whoopsies. One of these contained the path to the princess. Is it this one? Is it, is it this one? Yes, it's this one. Good, good, good. Oh. I'll give you the honor of carrying me. <laughs> Spoil, child. Spoil, little child. We will go in here. Um... What was I actually trying to say just a second ago? Uh, yes. Um, the whole premise of this uh, place is that you can only use the enemies to... Or not the enemies. Um, the boomerang to kill most of the enemies in this area. So the slingshot is not really that useful for other than minor things, really. So th that that's one of the things I loved about like Ocarina of Time is you got an item and you actually had to use it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but then, um, just drop your heat, princess. One of the things that you can do with um, the boomer or the slingshot, rather. And I'm just taking out these bubbles because they will be a struggle for me or an obstacle. Is that we can technically get. You can see there are these guys down here, really annoying guys. Well, use the slingshot. And oh, sorry. Use the boomerang to get them out, and the slingshot to kill them. That's basically what you do. Uh, but first, um, I think we were trying just make it easy for ourselves because I am like the sneaky type of person. I do like to make sure the path for me is not a com not as comfortable. As me, that was not what I meant. But it's as. It's as um, productive as possible. The good thing about us having the boomerang when going in here is that we can actually kill the enemies in this area. Do I actually kill this Cthulhu there? Run right away! Okay, I got some good blur. <laughs> this is not going well, okay. And there's actually a secret little cute fairy over the car you can get. I know I'll take my- I usually take my time with games and I know that probably might actually annoy some people and I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, we don't really have any- uh... Um, fairy? <laughs> I'm like, there was a fairy in the middle one as far as I remember. <laughs> But on the other hand, um, it's not really that we need a fairy in the younger or in the child dungeons. I just like to have them. Oh, should we have... I don't really want to pull out the sticks yet. Because I might actually accidentally use them. And that would be foolish of me. But I will not be satisfied with also maybe using <laughs> like my bombs or all the other items that I have in there. Uh... And don't not jump in the water while you have the princess. Even though she can swim, she will apparently vag mm, she will just vanish suddenly. Going like, nah, you didn't do a well enough job, so I would just make sure that your life is getting even harder. Get up there. <laughs> I hate those bubbles because I know they hurt me. <laughs> and I might be a little... Um, I might sound a little tired to you guys, and it's actually because I I currently suffer from a migraine and it's really, really painful. But I really want to record this, I really want to have a bit of fun. 
As you say, ah, the bubble. And I also have slight signs of sinusitis, which is really annoying. Um, I hope it doesn't develop, but it might. It's autumn after all, so all, all the time where you go like, ah, yeah, it's it's about the time where you get slightly ill. It's autumn time. It's illness time, unfortunately. <laughs> so I'm going to say it in that way, but that's how it is. And we can hear a deco salesman in here, in this room, but he's underneath the water and then you have to actually dive, but he doesn't really have any special items, he's just, oh, are you out of something? Oh, that's too bad, let me help you out here for a lot of rupees, which I'm not interested in. <laughs> that's fine. Um, let's see here. We have to go this away. And this away. And then we have to go all the way around without actually getting near any of the jellies. And we're just gonna pass you guys. Yeah, go away, go away, go away. We don't really care about you guys. No. You are not that important, unfortunately. I'm sorry. <laughs> and then we'll just put this girl down and go in here. Yes, indeed. The thing is, what actually surprises me is how small... Um, the third dungeon is with this princess is basically just a few rooms and that's it. And it surprised my brother as well because even the Dugongo's cabin was larger than it and it was the second dungeon really. There we are, first one. Oh yeah, there's chests in here, I forgot about that. So what do we, what, what are we gonna have? Well, what's gonna be in here? Technically I'm actually taking, oh, an ill, <laughs> I think. Is this the map room or the compass room? I do not remember, but the the closed off rooms where you have the princess and you need the princess to open the rooms, as far as I remember, are both the uh, compass and the map room. I can't remember the complete rooms and set out, especially in this dungeon. It's just that, yes, this is a room with the bubbles. I was kind of like, is this the room with the bubbles? Yes, it's the room with the bubbles. So let's just make it easy here. <laughs> Okay, which one did we miss? Did we just miss one? There we go. I'm actually pretty sure this might be the boomerang room because I think you can actually pop the bubbles with um, your slingshot, but I'm not quite sure on that fact. Oh, the compass! Okay! My game crashed, so if there's any, like, things that don't add up just from one clip to another, I'm sorry about that, but I had to replay the whole thing. <laughs> Yay, for no saving! Anyway, how inconsiderate. How could you leave me behind? Well, if you want to go into a room full of monsters and probably be kicked around by something I actually don't really know what is, Tongsels, I, I'm, I'm guessing they are, I'm not sure. Or being puffed around by bubbles, you're more than welcome to join, but I'm pretty sure you don't uh, want to be a part of that. I'm pretty sure. No, 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 uh, what I remember from what my brother did was that, um, oh, what's this room? What's, I was like, where's the enemies? <laughs> okay, so let's just get these guys out and start destroying them one by one or whatever. I guess. Because I don't know how dangerous they actually are when they're just flying around, to, to be honest. They just seem like pretty, like just. They, they basically just seem like uh, targeting practice because they don't seem like they're interested in attacking you when they're just flying around. Like they, they're just stationed. Like they just walk. Like look at me, man. I'm just here. I'm just floating around and enjoying life. Hey, we saw a kid over there with a boomerang. <laughs> it's, it's kind of that thing. They kind of like just talk it in practice. Or they feel like it though. Um, but I can't remember what the real trigger is to get them out because I can't remember if this big. Oh! That's kind of a waste. 
That's 200 rupees. That, that's a waste. We don't have a big bag. Hmm. Oh well, we don't have any massively. We have we have to use a lot of rupees on now. That's fine. And now the princess seems to have been gone. But that's because we don't need her right now. <laughs> that's because she's not useful, so she's out in the bigger room. Because of course she is. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is just another boomerang room. I thought there were more enemies as soon as we got in here, but that's not. Um, this is the child genre I probably have the least memory of, to be honest. Um, oop! Sorry, Mr. Tongsel, did I get too close? Um, but it's probably the dungeon I have the least memory of in every, like, of all the dungeons. That and the uh, Shadow Temple. Basically all the adult temple of the, uh, the end adult temples and, of course, uh, because you don't see them as often because you usually, when you see someone play a game, they usually restart a game every time or something if they haven't been playing for a while. It's more common to see the other games first, if that makes sense. Or the, the first temples you see more frequently. I just have to be aware of Mr. Tungsel over there while we try to kill all the jelly beans. J jelly beans? Yes, they be jelly beans! <laughs> no jellyfishes in here, they all jelly beans. Oh man, my head is not feeling well. <laughs> but oh well, let's see. It's actually really fun to play though. Um, getting into this game or getting into it, I really know it. Uh, for the two dungeons I've actually played, it's really nice to get into the game again. Um, but I've just said this is probably this is probably the smallest dungeon, but it's a dungeon I have the least memory of. So I know there's a mini boss in this dungeon. As there is in most dungeons. However, oh, she's right there. Oh, I'm kind of like, where was she again? I do not know, but she's right, right over Fnor. And now the tongue that was blockading the whole thing. Oh, that was another big one. Rawr. We can now jump down here, which is good. And I'm just gonna put you down because there was a Skotula here. There's actually double Skotulas. Yay! I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> Don't you dare come near. <laughs> Just imagine that one of the jellyfishies or jelly beans now. Now they call jelly beans. So now they will be jelly beans. Um, we just come so close that we hit you and then you <laughs> fall off and then the princess kind of just disappear and you have to do stuff over and uh I think that that was what annoyed my brother the most with this um, particular area, particular um, dungeon was if if you messed something up you had to redo the whole thing with getting the princess again and is this the mini bus room? Yes, it is. Okay. Um, first of all, I'm gonna I am gonna throw her up there. Rip. I am gonna throw her up there. However, I'm just gonna quickly save. Because this is um, the minibus room, as far as I recall. And I just have to just quickly... Oh my goodness! I found it! I finally found my mother's stone. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, she's missing her mom. Apparently she passed away. And I didn't realize that it actually is apparently very common in the Zelda world to... They're either missing their, their father or their mother. For Link, it's probably both. <laughs> so yeah, it's like, oh, sorry, bumped the monkey. Um, but yeah, I got very sad when Lord Jabba Jabba swallowed it. While I was feeding him. So she had the feeding opportunity, or she, she basically had the duty of feeding the god. Oh, well, that's, that's fine. Oh, she's so demanding. Take me, so take me home right now. Yeah, she's so spoiled. Anywho. Did I remember to save? No, I probably didn't. So I'm just gonna save right there. Just in case that something goes wrong and I or <laughs> or um I end up not redoing well or I just fail. <laughs> or I just simply fail too much. Yes, that that would probably be it. 
I'm just gonna save again just for a second, for the sake of it here. Uh, there we are. And then we'll get close, and then the mini bus will arrive. And the only reason why I really want to save here is because we don't have the Kukiri sword, so we only have the sticks to go with. And that can be quite a hindrance as far as I've understood. Um, we need to uh, get hit. Because that is the easiest way to actually kill him, is just take the hit and then do that. And then, then just do that. Only two sticks? I thought he would at least take three. Oh, well. He was not as hard as I thought he was. The sticks were very powerful in this one. Okay, that's nice. We didn't even, we even got the, a hard return of the damage he gave us. That's nice. So that means we have 18 sticks for the boss. I don't mind that at all. <laughs> I don't mind that the slightest bit. Let's see here. That's it. Okay, that's the melody. That, that's just stuck in my mind. Isn't this a fairy? Er, yes, fairy. <laughs> it's a fairy. Okay, we're just gonna uh, get these guys out of the way quickly here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh well. We got a lot of heart back anyway. It's kind of like a return and receipt kind of thing, so yeah. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there's this guy here. I forgot about him. Um, I'm just gonna go down and get rid of him because it, these um, square tongs all are quite the deviants. So if you get hit off or something, they will actually hurt you. So yeah, yeah. As you can see, they're working back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. The issue with those are that they will actually hurt you when they wiggle like that. So. We will try to avoid as much as possible with that. There we are. And go through here. And I don't remember where are we at this point. Oh, we are here. Okay. Because my, my biggest issue is always the, the part I, you can't, I can't, for the goodness of me, always remember uh, what part of the dungeon is. Because of just... Uh, you, you have to... Uh, what? Uh, oh, there's a uh, jelly bean over there. <laughs> I just can't get over. I called it a jelly bean. It's a jelly bean, children. Um, but yeah, it, that that kind of that kind of explains why there was the boxes in the storage. <laughs> it was kind of like when when I went into the dungeon here. Just I was thinking. I didn't say it a lot, but I was just thinking, why? There, I know. Get why? Why is there like <laughs> boxes here? I don't. I uh, I I no compute that. I really. Don't. But now it makes sense. As I said before, this is probably the dungeon I have the least recollection of. Um, even I probably even remember the water temple better than this one because it seems like to just be the same rooms over and over and. I don't know, it's not the most creative one. It didn't mean to do that, but it worked. Um, it didn't seem to be the most creative of the dungeons, to be honest. I would have loved if it had been the water temple or some kind of basically water temple-esque uh, dungeon. Um, it, it is, I know it is, um, but the thing I think about when I say water temple is more like um, the thought of that I know that the ice temple or the icy cavern was planned to be a, uh, a full-fledged temple. Uh, so I would have loved to have the ice temple, quote-unquote ice temple or the icy cavern as a full-fledged temple and then have something more water-based as the child dungeon because example-wise we in Jabu Jabu we go into a volcano in in the forest or in the we, we go into the great deco tree for the Kukiri emerald uh, for, for the soul of sapphire we just like oh this is the boss oh well Hello, Mr. Boss. 
that just tells you how much I remember of this game or of this boss. Uh, oh yeah, uh, I remember how to beat him though, so that's probably the most important thing. For some reason, I just don't. I I'm not hitting. There we are. There we are. I'm, I'm, is it a tumor that we're removing? I, I'm, I'm curious. I'm just so curious about this part. Um, oh, there, there was a jelly. <laughs> I'm curious because... Oh, there's another jelly. Um, I should probably just hack it in with them. And it's basically... I will kill all the jellyfish with just the boomerang. Oh, I messed up here because I can't see anything. Simply can't see anything here. I think that's the problem with this boss, I think. Or for me at least, is I can't really see anything. Um, oh yeah, we actually have to hit him, right? Um, that doesn't matter. Because he just released his little jelly beans. Uh, oh, jellyfish is not jelly beans! Uh, oh, that works. There we go. Now he's just gonna move around and try and kill us as far as I'm Hello, Bernade. I really need to see him. <laughs> Be able to see him else I can't do much. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't think he's that hard though. Uh, I remember my brother having a lot of problems with this guy. I think the only problem I actually have with this guy is that uh, I seemingly can't. I seem to can't just uh, kill him right now because I don't have the gear. Ooh, too much. <laughs> too high of a chance here. Yep. Um, it's because you have to retarget everything to actually do stuff. Oh, that was actually <laughs> lucky in the uh, wood here. There we go. Now we just have him left. Uh, I didn't need to do that. But it's, I think it's the retargeting that's... Oh, uh, <laughs> I've only lost one heart so far, which is actually impressive. I was talking to that there. Okay. Okay, um, for some reason I can't really move around, probably. Oh, I untargeted. Oh, that's not the... I untargeted completely here, and apparently I hit him anyway. Okay, so maybe he only needs 60. Oh, don't untarget! I just feel every time he goes down, I have a feeling that I untarget him. So maybe... I'm glad we have the double defense though! <laughs> I'm so happy for that because I am not doing well for this battle. Oh, five sticks! So he was only... He was only like four, three sticks worse than the mini boss. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised actually. So I shouldn't actually have been that worried with all the the Kokiri sword shenanigans and fear and stuff. Uh, but what does he have? Because <laughs> no way. <laughs> he has the green ruby. The infamous green ruby. Well, he was a tumor, right? So green, splo uh, green splotches is apparently his thing. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but that's funny. Well, at least we know that um, now you won't accidentally do something really hard and then only get the green rupee. Because we just get it with barony. Because there's only, like, the, there's green pus everywhere. So it actually kind of fits in. <laughs> there was so slightly. But I'm actually very happy, though I... I did. I was a little fearful for us not being able to beat him with just sticks. I shouldn't have because, as I can see here, we even with only ten sticks available, we would still have been off with three sticks for mistakes. So that's actually fine. So I don't have to worry about that in the future. I just have to think about it. We can easily live without the Kokiri sword. Oh, we got the Goron Ruby for this. Okay. So we just check the Goron Ruby out here. So that was not a Benalian, so that 
So we, we basically have the Koron Ruby as well. Maybe we actually have to get the Ocarina of Time then. But I don't know where the... I, as I've said before, I want to be surprised by all the items that we get. Um, basically. So I don't know where the medallions are. I don't know where the last um, child stone is. Spirit stone. Um, wh where am I? Where did he put me out? Oh, he's over there. How did we end over here? Oh yeah, the cutscene. I forgot. It's kind of like, just a second there, they cut out the cutscene. So uh, my, my brain was like, did he just poop us out? <laughs> I know we did bad, but still. Uh, Mr. Mr. King Sora, sir. We did confirm that we did a nice operation on your god, sir. And we did well. Do we get anything for actually saving his daughter? I, I don't think so. Oh, Raider, you saved my princess, eh? I appreciate it. Oh, that's nice. But we got nothing from it. Mm, okay. Okay, so what is the other thing that we can do just... What do we have time to do, actually? Because uh, I do have, like... Some ideas of what we could do after Jabu Jabu, but it actually took out a lot of time to defeat him. But there is one thing that we can do in Sora's River. Um, just very quickly here, because we did get the Song of Storms, as far as I remember. We have the Song of Storms, right? <laughs> Again, I'm still trying to remember all the things that was on the old, um, or the the previous. Um, yeah, we have the Song of Storms, good. Then we can go to the Froggies and see what they would give us for singing the Song of Storms for them. Um, I'm still trying to remember what it was on the old tracker that I used. And I said before, the, the only downside to using the tracker I'm using right now is that it, um, it resets every time. So it's... Exactly aggravating, but it's a little better because it's more detailed and I like details. You should know that by now by me. <laughs> I like when things are more detailed, though it doesn't save, but the other tracker didn't save either. Uh, that tracker was at least good to remember to make screenshots of, except the last time, so... Uh, and I started using this, it was not so well off. <laughs> anyway, I'm just rambling away now because my head is getting tired, so that's bad. So yeah. So it was do do no wait do 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 do. I was about to make the song of sun song, but we don't have the sun song yet. So no, we don't. It's very nice that I can look over and try it. Do we have that? No, we don't. <coughs> okay, so what do we get from the fuckos? Fuckos. Anyway, um, let's see. What do we get from the fuckies? Please take this token. Oh, <gasps> nice! Not really that we... Well, we do need it, actually, because that means... <gasps> Wait a minute. That means, as an adult link, we can actually go buy the Goron tunic and then actually do the fire temple. Because we have all the things for the fire temple, actually. Don't we? We have the hammer? Yes, we do. Uh, we have the long shot, yes. Um, we have the sword. We have the Goron sword, which helps a lot. And we have the we have the Song of Time, so we could actually finish up off the, the the Fire Temple without a, without an issue. That's cool. We should go do that. Okay, so that means in the next one we will actually go and do the Fire Temple because I don't know where the Goron sword is out in the world, and I'm not gonna waste time on trying finding it. So until next time, guys, Fire Temple, we go.